Hi, I'm Craig at Zero Key. We often talk about our best in class precision of 1.5 millimeter tracking, but what people may not know is that that actually scales almost indefinitely and we actually have tracking throughout our entire facility. So that's what I want to show you today. So let's go in and check it out. So we're going to go check out our workbench demo, which you may be familiar with either from seeing it at trade shows or some of our other uh, videos that we've shown. I'm just going through the final stage here just to demonstrate uh, the precision of our solution, 1.5 millimeters of accuracy. What you'll see is trackers on my wrists, tracking my hand movement uh, with hands showing up on our digital twin. We've got uh, universal on the tool, tracking the tool itself. We have some universals on the bench for anchors and we've also got PoE anchors overhead. So let's finish off the workbench demo. Using the position of my hands, the system detects when parts are picked up and placed into their correct location. When a step is completed successfully, the on-screen instructions automatically move forward. Once all the bolts are placed properly, it's telling me to tighten them in a particular bolting sequence. The tracker on the tool is accurate enough to tell the individual bolt locations apart and will flag an error if I don't follow the correct sequence. This is the only technology in the world that is accurate enough to perform this task based entirely on 3D position. That shows off the precision of 1.5 millimeter accuracy and what we can do at a workbench. But what's really interesting is the system that we're using at the workbench scales indefinitely throughout our entire facility, the same level of tracking. So this is one of our personnel trackers. You can see we're tracking positioning. Uh, this is the workbench where we're starting from. And let's go for a little walk. We have the same visualization up on this TV over here. This zone from overhead is drawn in 2D, um, but what's really interesting is we have the ability to track our solution in three dimensions, which really differentiates us from the rest of the tracking solutions. And you can see here, this is me. I'm not alarming just yet, but as I move up into the alarming zone, right at that level, I'm starting to generate the alarm both locally with vibrations on the device itself, but then on the tracker as well. And upon leaving that zone at a lower height, even though I'm still in the overhead in the zone, we're no longer alarming. So we're gonna walk over to the pool table and demonstrate that zone as well. This one is shown here and we'll see that in a minute. But what's interesting here is we've just got it set from floor to ceiling. So we don't have the same height restrictions on the zone that we just demonstrated. Let's go show that. And we're triggering here. I actually have the visualization as well that was on the screen on my handheld. As we go for a walk, we're gonna check out the tracking in the rest of the facility. Just getting through the doors, back into our main warehouse area. And as you can see, we're still tracking on the same system. In here, the infrastructure is PoE anchors that we've mounted to the ceiling. We've got it as a much higher density just in our own system for some of the testing that we perform. Now that we've seen the performance in our warehouse, let's head to the front office. Just to fire off and show that we're still tracking, no issues. There's even a small one over here. Here in the front office, we're also using our PoE anchors, but these have a transducer kit installed for a more discrete form factor, with the anchors themselves hidden above the ceiling. And we can even duck into our conference room. We have a few anchors set up in here on the ceiling as well for uninterrupted positioning. So hopefully you enjoyed that walk around our facility, demonstrating the scalability of our solution. For more information, hit our website at zerokey.com.